All right, everyone, welcome or welcome back to Nails by Stephanie. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this and hopefully the only time I ever do this. Um, I just wanted to catch you up on where I am with my manicure right now, as I usually do. I did my manicure on my left hand and my intention was to do the manicure on my right hand tonight to show you how I did my left hand. But it is 1.37 in the morning now. I started this whole process at around nine o'clock and I did a full removal of the set that I already had on with the intention of using um, these long nails from Gel X. Now, while I size them and everything, I'm trying to open it one handed without showing you my left hand. Um, while I was sizing them, I realized that they were really much longer than I wanted to use. And you'll excuse my bleeding cuticles. I will get into that in a moment. But um, they're really much longer than I wanted. The ones that I'm wearing right now, what size is this? The ones that I'm wearing right now are a medium. And I pushed them a little bit further up the nail to get the length that I wanted. I was hoping not to have to do any filing or reshaping or really anything with the nails other than glue them on. That was not what happened though. Had a lot of problems with it. I don't know if it's an issue with a prey or their extend gel or just them not being the right product for my nails, but each time I use them, it gets worse and worse with being able to apply them well. I usually can do a pretty good job on my left hand. My right hand is a crapshoot. Um, and it took me well over an hour and a half to get them applied and filed and looking some in any semblance of a proper application. And I cut up my cuticles, it, it was just a mess. Probably will not, use gel x again i have other nails that i like much better and if i do use them i might try with um oh what's it called N not non-tacky builder gel um solid nail glue um just because i cannot get these nails on without flooding flooding my cuticles and making a mess and that's not something that i've ever had a problem with with other uh, full coverage nail tips. So while I like these, I do not love them and I certainly do not love applying them to my own nails. So I will probably be switching back to painted desert nails, which I've never ever had a problem with. So um, with how long it took to do just, you know, applying the nails, and then doing this slime green and black Halloween manicure. It is now too late for me to even want to do my right hand. And given the fact that I am bleeding, I want to give my hands a rest. And I would like to go to bed before 3 o'clock in the morning. So I will pick this up again in the morning, but it will be... A blink of an eye for you because it's going to roll right after this um, but yeah hopefully I don't have any problems with my nails lifting I do have a little bit more cleanup to do on my right hand it's not looking too bad fortunately but um, I certainly don't want to get have any air pockets and have any greenies develop so I'm going to give my cuticles a rest for tonight. I'm going to get to bed and I will see you in just a moment. All right, it is now morning. It is 11.13 in the morning. Um, and we are ready to get back into the second part of this video or the first part of this video or just the second part of this manicure, whichever way you wanna view it. Thank you for staying with me if you did and we're going to get into the manicure right now so i have not prepped or re-prepped my right hand yet so i'm going to do that now and the simple way to do that is to take some alcohol and just cleanse the surface of the nail which i'm going to do 
that's going to get i know they're fake nails and they don't really retain oil but i have been handling things in the past um 10 hours or so um and cat hair abounds really hoping in the next year to be able to open up my own salon suite so if that happens i will be moving my own manicures to that space since it'll be a clean space and i won't have to worry about cat hair flying all over the place um so now that we've got the nail cleansed I'm gonna go in with some protein bond and i always use young nails i actually go back and forth i have um what's the brand Zora. I have a uh, gel uh, bond, gel base that I use um, at the salon called, uh, by IBD. And I feel it works very well. I just don't like that extra step of having to cure another product because you do have to cure it before you can go on to the next step. Uh, Young Nails Protein Bond Air Dries, you don't need to cure it in the lamp. So I tend to use this at home. Um, I use it for acrylic nails all the time, whether at home or in the salon. And then for um, gel nails in the salon, I use IBD, which if you have a Sally's, you can pick it up there. You can find it on Amazon. And I do the whole nail. Young Nail says you only need to do at the base of the nail near the cuticle. If I remember correctly, but I do the whole nail. Once you've got your protein bond on or your nail prep, whatever you are using, you can go in with a base coat. And generally speaking, once you put your fake nails on, you really don't need to go over it with a base. But because I had to do a lot of filing yesterday and clean up and I've got bare patches along the cuticle and the free edge, I just want to seal those areas in. I do want to get this blood off the nail though. And then always do your thumb separate from your other four fingers since it lays sideways. So once I have this the way I like it, I'm going to pop it in the lamp and flash it and then do my other four fingers. If you see, I did cure a hair underneath the nail last night. That was thrilling. So this morning is starting off about as well as the early morning ended. I managed to use the top coat and not the base coat. So then I wanted to try to use the um, number three, the Gel X Prep, which is an acid-free tip primer. You can chemically etch your tips with it. I tried to use it to kind of create a tacky layer on top of the gel. It didn't work, so I had to go in and buff my nails again. So, yeah, that happened. But we're gonna get into the design, finally. And hopefully I can do it without messing up. So what I did with my left hand is I went and kind of created just like a wavy pattern. And it's hard to see on my pointer finger because of all the black. Um, this is a bat coming into the tip, but the line went up the thumb and down at the pointer and then up and down. and in a, like a wave format. So I'm going to do the same with my right hand, but I kind of want to delineate the area first. So I'm going to take 
my liner brush in my black, which I already have on the palette from yesterday. And I'm going to mark out the area. Now I did toy with the idea of reversing it and doing black on the top and green on the bottom. I'm not sure though. Um, I obviously don't want to do it and then not, not like it and then I'm stuck with it. Just don't know how the green is going to, maybe I'll line out the green area first and paint in on the lower half. And let me switch this out for the acetone and then um, let's see how it looks because I liked the brightness of the green and I don't know how bright, I have to assume it's going to be as bright on the lower half, if not brighter. So let's do this. And I'm not going to do the same pattern. I don't think. Yeah, I unintentionally did the same pattern. still marked it out in black and just painted in the green okay I'm gonna cure that and then we will put in some green and see how it looks on the lower half I think I need to redirect one of the lines okay let's see how this looks don't know if I like the green right next to my skin. I think there's too much yellow in it and it's making my skin look weird. All right, decision made. We will do black on the bottom and green on the top. There's something about putting in the black that's just so much more difficult than any other color. So I'm thinking now that I've taken time away from last night and all of the craziness, that I went through with trying to apply the Apray tips. I'm thinking next time I'm still going to try and use them, but instead of using the Extend Gel, I'm going to use solid nail glue because that is a technique I want to try anyway. And I feel like the Apray tips might be the right way to test it since I have so much difficulty with it to begin with and I don't know why I've been doing my own nails for almost three years now I've been using tips for about two and a half of those years and even the first time I ever applied tips on myself I never had the amount of difficulty that I have when applying a prey tips 
generally speaking, you don't get worse over time, you get better. So I'm gonna try it that way and see if I can make it work. This extend gel just may not be the route for me. So I will prep the nail the way I normally do with all of the steps that you take with the Apre nail system. But I will be using the solid uh, nail glue, which means I'm gonna have to get another container because there's not much in it to begin with. All right. I am going to cure the last two nails, go in and do a second coat, and then we will apply the green. Okay, moving into the green section, and it's basically, I'm going to go ahead and roll this because it does feel like it's separating a bit. Basically the same thing as the bottom, but easier because you don't have to worry about going into your cuticle line. It's giving a very lava lamp. Okay, finally moving on. Um, I'm going to grab my black gel paint because we are going to be doing a spider web. Now the question is, am I going to be following and doing the same thing on each nail? Um, I'm thinking no. I think I want to switch it up a bit. So maybe let's put the spider web on our middle finger. We're gonna start with the black portion. The green portion was a last minute ad. I felt the nail needed something. So let's go at an angle. I'm using one of my longer liners. This one is 11 millimeter. I'm just being careful to drag the top bristles, not flay, out, flay them out. play them out rather. All right, and then I'm gonna switch to my seven millimeter to do the smaller lines in between. And these are just U's. So I'm gonna start down here. I do want to try to clean up one of the other lines before I cure. I don't know if I can get in there though. I need a little, I need my little baby lender. And now we're going to take our vivid green gel paint and we're going to flip it around and do the other side of the spider web.
Alright, so I was going to do a green spider on my thumb like I did on my ring finger, but I think the thumb has too much of a swath of green on it and I want to break it up, so I'm going to do a black spider coming down the thumb the way I have the green spider going up the thumb. So I'm using my trippy gel from Nails by Dev and this is already black. I did try to do kind of like a small green spider inside a clear coating um, with this one. It didn't work out quite the way I wanted, so I'm just gonna go straight black and we'll top coat it later. But I'm going to use my little, um, my cuticle pusher as a spatula and pull off a couple pieces, one for the body and one for the head. And then I'm going to use my silicone tool to go ahead and roll it into a ball. And then I'm just going to taper one side into a point so we can create an, in, an in long, elongated lower portion. This is me trying to get it off the spatula or off the silicone tool. a okay, little bit of alcohol. Okay, going to go ahead and cure this. Okay, going to go ahead and cure this. Now, going in with the legs. So going to use my smaller brush, just so that I have a little bit more control. And they're going to go out from the center. Actually, let me... I don't know if I can at this point. It's a little bit of schmutz from the black. I wanted to clean up, but I don't know if that will come off at this point. Wrong brush. They're both gonna come out from, well, I should say all four legs on each side will come out from the center. So going out at an angle, and then straight in towards the head. And then add another angle down towards, or Jesus. It'll be a miracle if I never wind up with a gel allergy. angled down towards the lower part of the body. Here's me realizing that the black's going to go over the black for the other side.
Okay, so the bat is going to go on my pinky. So last time when I did it on my other hand, I started off with a clean brush. Um, I started off with the head. So this, uh, but I didn't like the way it was coming out. So I think I'm gonna start off with the wingspan. like to know how I always get gel paint on the hand that I'm not using. So these are just U's and M's. I'm going to draw a center line because that's the head is going to come up from the center. And then we've got, I'm going to clean up this one over here. And then we've got two more. And now I'm going to go in and put in the head. And now I'm going to cure it before I mess it up. All right, now send your cat, which is on my pinky. It's going to go on my pointer finger since I have the real estate for it there. So Senior Cat ooh, is pretty straightforward. We're going to put his head in right up here. And then his body is going to come down. Guys, I'm so over it. It's not even funny. Thinking about maybe doing a video with stamping <laughs> going forward because these individually designed nails are going to give me a nervous breakdown, although I'm sure stamping will drive me equally insane. I'm gonna put two pointy ears on top of the head. And then we're going to take the tail from up here and bring it down. Yeah, so next week's manicure, don't be surprised if I go screaming into the night because it is going to be another AI inspo. And this one's quite detailed and definitely Halloween inspired. So I know I just did an AI video, but I saw this one and I really wanted to do it. So be ready for that. And then the week after that will be Halloween and it will be Beetlejuice Nails, which may take me a very long time because of the way I designed them. So expect a longer video. I know some, some of you really like long videos. Some of you like shorter videos. This one's going to be a long one. Last nail. Last nail, last nail. Should I say it again? Last nail. We're just going to do some spiders. So those should be relatively easy, right? So we're just going to do three dots. And then we're going to pull out the body. And 
And then I'm going to use my seven millimeter again to draw the legs. Actually, I'm going to cure this first. Okay, I had to go to an even smaller brush. Fortunately, the bristles are slightly thicker. And I'm just trying to get these lines in so that they look like legs. All right, the design is done. We're going to finish with a base coat and top coat now, making sure that I actually choose the base coat this time because I want to go over the spider. Which for some reason has green on it. And really seal it in. So, we've come to the end. The manicure is finished. I was going to make the legs 3D, but it was just bugging me, no pun intended. Um, couldn't get it the way I wanted to, so I decided just to end it because this manicure has taken long enough. But this is our first official Halloween manicure that I am wearing. The other ones, I did a few ones before, which I will link in the end cards on uh, sample nails. So you can take a look at the, those. I'm going to go ahead and finish with some cuticle oil and I'm just going to use my Cuccio because it is right here. So thank you for staying with me if you did. Um, it was, I don't think this is going to be all that long of a video but it was definitely long in filming for me. I don't know what my problem was this time, but I just could not get ahead of myself. And I knew last night I wanted to do it. I didn't want to do it. It was already getting late. And whenever I feel that way, it usually ends up being a, excuse my language, cluster F because I want to be monetized. I'm not going to say the F word. Um, but yeah, it was a whole you know, rig rigmarole process, but thank you for sticking it out with me. And uh, hopefully the next one will not be as much of a project, but thank you so much once again. If you would please hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that you know when new videos are available. And I will see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.